Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about pre and postnatal Pilates. Now, we are clearly passionate about that subject, and uh, Pilates is wonderful to prepare your moms, not only for you know getting their body back after having the baby, but really and truly, it's a wonderful strengthening, centering work for labor. So we're gonna be talking a little bit about some postures for labor and some cues and tips that you can give your clients that are preparing for one of the biggest moments of their life. Now, the physio ball is a wonderful tool to work out during pregnancy, to work out after pregnancy, but it's also incredible for labor. Um, now hospitals, I mean so many hospitals across the country have these for laboring moms to help them find a little bit more ease of movement, to take their mind off of labor, but it's wonderful to actually open up the pelvic outlet, the pelvic floor to prepare for having a baby. So Jen is on this fizzy ball. This is a really good size for her. Her uh, knees and her hips are pretty much in line. You don't want to have your pregnant mommies sinking too low or too high. So what I want Jen to start doing, and notice that she has a nice wide stance here, is I want you to start circling the pelvis. So we're going to do some nice hip circles. So here, Jen is working her breath, inhaling and exhaling, circling the pelvis on the ball. Now, this is wonderful because what's happening is the femurs are moving and kind of rolling the pelvic bones front, back, side to side. Also, each side of her pelvic floor is either opening or closing, and there might be an area where it's a little bit sticky, but this is wonderful to really work through in labor to get the pelvis to open and get ready uh, to have the baby. And it's also nice to have something to focus on during contractions and it's very comfortable because this is squishy. So there's, you know, obviously there's a ton of pressure on the pelvic floor during this time, so this is an easy, comfy place to sit. Very good, Jen. So now what I'm gonna have Jen do is a little bit of four-point kneeling work with this ball. So I'm gonna move to the side. I'm gonna give Jen a blanket to kneel on here. Now, what I want you to think about is, you know, you're gonna need to be prepared in the delivery room. So they might have one of these balls and you can always ask your doctor, but you also might wanna bring your mat to the delivery room and blankets and pillows and anything that's gonna make this a little bit more comfortable so that you can do some of these poses and not feel like you're on that cold floor. So I'm gonna have Jen go ahead and um, lean on to the ball. She's gonna go into this nice, good four point kneeling position and this is wonderful in so many different ways for not only the laboring mama, but the pregnant mama. So here, she can even incite a little bit of a sway and, uh, to get through some of her contractions, good. And also, if you think about it, we're creating a hammock so that the baby can kind of come off of her pelvic floor for a moment. Um, if you're going into to some back labor, this is a nice place to take that pressure off. Also, the partner can come and give some really nice pressure and feedback to the SI joint and the sacrum. And by bringing the heel of the hands into the top of the pelvis, it helps to spread the sitting bones wide into the side, good. Now the other thing that Jen can do here is a little bit of rocking of the pelvis. Again, trying to get the pelvic bones to move, good. And you can even do those hip circles that you were doing on the ball, trying to move and open each part of the pelvic floor very good, because this is really, and this is why even belly dance is so important, it's a pregnancy dance, is to move and get these muscles to really start to activate to help aid in delivering a baby. Very nice. All right, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again soon.